we are given the root of a binary tree and we have given some coins. Now these coins are equal to the number of nodes in the binary tree. And what we have to do is we have to distribute these coins to all the nodes, which means one coin should be present at every node. And the movement cost or basically the number of operations or any one operation is choose two adjacent node and move one coin from one node to another node. That is one specific movement. So you can easily see that if I have to distribute all the coins in this entire tree, I will take, okay, I will move this one coin to here, one movement done. I will move this one coin to here, one movement done. So in total, after two minimum movements, I will actually be able to get my answer, which means I will be able to actually, sorry, I'll be able to actually get all the coins on each node. For example, in this case, I will choose one movement to move this one coin to here. I'll choose another movement to choose this one coin to here. Next, another movement to choose that specific coin which was here to here. So in total, in three movements, I can actually move all of my coins to all the nodes. Now, we know it's a simple tree and in a simple tree, we can easily apply a simple DFS. Now, a simple DFS, again, we never know. Maybe we can apply something else also. But usually it's a simple DFS and a simple DFS structure looks like this. That we have a DFS, we have some base case, we have some return condition, it can be void or it can be end, depending upon what you are trying to do. We have, we call something, then either we have this post-processing or we can have something in the pre-processing layer, depends upon what you, have, what you want to, what we are trying to do, and ultimately a return condition. Now, um, let's see with example again, I'm just extending this example. I just took this example and I'm extending it to a better example or basically a higher example. So imagine that you have four points, right? Now, just see, just, just, just ask me or just ask yourself the demand of every node. So if I just ask him, he will say, bro, I need again, you know that only two consecutive nodes can interact with each other. And in a tree, usually we have a parent-child relationship, which means a child can only ask his immediate parent, please, can you give me this? So this node, this node, this child node will ask his parent, bro, can you please give me one coin? One coin. I, I just need one coin. And the same way, this child will say, can you please give me one coin? So they are requiring, okay, please, can you give me one coin to their parent? They are asking this. Now, parent has four coin and parent know that he has to keep one coin. He has to keep one coin and now after listening his child request, he figured out, okay, my child needs two coin. So what he will do, okay, parent will, again, let's imagine he has four coins. Parent will keep one coin with him, one coin with him, two coins he will give to his children because he could hear the request of his children and then now he has one more remaining coin. What he will do, okay, he know. He is satisfied. He know his children is satisfied. So he will just transfer that one coin to his parent and say, okay, a parent, let's say, for example, he's a father. He will say, uh, my grandfather, I am giving you this money to whatsoever you want to do. Now it is upon his parent that if he want to transfer this money to maybe someone else, or maybe he, he want to keep it depending upon if he's available or not. So this is what the strategy looks like. So what, what, what ultimately happened? Child notes asked the parent, they asked. I need one. I need one. So, okay. Number of steps required or number of movement required will be, they are asking for one, one gold. Okay. So one, he will give one, he will give. And then he, after giving one, one, he will be left with two in which out one, he will keep and one, he will give to his parent because it is remaining. It is excess for him. So he will give to his parent. And thus, if I give something, so for sure it is a one movement, right? So number of steps will be one. So in total, we can see number of steps will be three. Okay. Okay. Again, this is just a story right now. Let's see what all can be there. Okay. Again, let's see another example. We have five. Again, the child node will say, please, 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 Papa, uh, give us uh, one uh, coin, gold coin. So he require one gold coin. Again, he require one gold coin. Now, this father have five gold coins. He will keep one for himself. And he knows that uh, he has five gold coins. He can give two to his children because they required. He's not giving like anything. He, they required them. What if he was not requiring? He already had one gold coin. Okay. He will not require anything. He will not ask anything. He will not even ask anything to his parent. Only if when they ask something to, to my parent, only then the parent will give. So parent will give two coins. Remaining will be two coins for my father. 
Now these two coins he will transfer to his parent. Now again he will transfer these two coins to his parent. Now you you can easily see see we have five coins with the father. I have in total five nodes. So for sure these will be empty. So it is always valid. A valid configuration or valid answer will always be there. Which means ultimately in the end everyone will have one node. That is for sure. Right. So my father transferred my two gold coins to my grandfather okay he just transferred now what he will do what grandfather will do he will keep one gold coin and then transfer remaining gold coin to his grandfather so he will keep one and transfer the remaining one to his grand grand grandfather so he will transfer the remaining one so if i ask you what is the movement which we did for sure one one movement from the children then he kept one and he gave two then Two was in the axis, he gave to his grandfather and then grandfather kept one and then gave one to his grandfather or basically his father which is grand grandfather. So if I ask you number of moments is one, one, two and one, 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 two and one. Okay. Now let's see the last example. This will sort everything out. Ultimately what was happening if I again this example is a bit changed just to show you what all can happen. So this was a child. He required one gold coin you remember that he also required one gold coin okay now when i came here what he what he did he said bro uh, he said like again this father said this is let's say the son this is the son this is the grandfather and this is the grand grandfather so father said uh, grandfather like father told his grandfather that um, papa ji I actually need three gold coins. Why three? He will ask. Why three? He will say one for me and two for my children because my children require, my children require, and one I also require. So I will need three gold coins. So okay, the request went on to my grandfather. Grandfather will keep one for him. He know that his 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 next generation is requiring three gold, so he will give three gold to his next generation. Okay, and then if if I had if the grandfather had five, I am not the grandfather, but if I had five, I kept one, I gave three down. For sure, I will have remaining one more coin because three plus one is four. I will have one, I will have one more remo remaining coin which I will give to the grand grandfather. So what happened again? This is again a give, but this is a require. So one is a request from the downstream, or basically my next generation. And one is okay. My pleasure, or basically my 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 balapan to give to my upstream. So so okay. How many steps will be required? That's a question. So one step movement will be as soon as just imagine just imagine one thing. As soon as your father have three gold coins, so he will require one step to give to the son one, and one step to give to the son two. Again, considering my father has three gold coins and how will my father receive three gold coins by simply three steps from my grandfather to father from my from my grandfather to father. I will have three steps in which I will get three coins. Great. Awesome. And then ultimately my grandfather had one more extra coin. So he in one step can give can give one gold coin to the grandfather. So grand grandfather. So in total, if I ask you number of steps will be one plus one plus three plus one. That's the answer. Now, if I show you what actually happened, this was a require from my sons. This was the require from my father. This was the give from my grandfather. See again, why I have specifically shown give and take because that will actually hamper because how you, how you will represent this give and take by signs. So what, what's, what's happening? This this specific again. Let's remember son one, son two. This is the father. This is a grandfather, and this is a grand grandfather. So this specific father, this is a, again child, has required three gold coins. This is my grandfather's job. That if my child is requiring something, just give them. Again, after subtracting one, which means he will keep one, he will give three. Give three as in okay. From 5, he should subtract 3. And then, again, this is a child. This is a child. Child can give also. Here, child was asking for gold coin. But child can give the gold coin also. Which means that 
the parent is actually receiving a gold coin which means it is adding up to the gold coin so what happened ultimately this specific left node will go and ask bro i am requiring one gold coin which means okay he will say left will be okay minus one again right he require one gold coin which means right which means right will be minus one at this point again at this point I'm, i considered what if i considered my father can bring in three gold coins ultimately what by any means he has a job like he knows that he care for his uh, sons or daughters so he will bring the gold coins no matter what so considering if he has three gold coins number of steps will be left plus right number of gold coins required in the in, the, in my children so steps required will be again it is addition right absolute value of left and absolute value of right why absolute because left is actually negative and why this negative because you know something is requiring and something is giving so i have to represent both of them so i said that okay steps required will be two okay at this point steps required will be two but still it is not ended yet i will still this father this father still will have to go and ask grandfather for how many for three gold coins so he require three gold coins which means minus one because he has nothing he has nothing he has he has zero gold coin so he will require one so he will minus one and minus two for his children okay minus one minus one minus two for his children so you see what actually i am see this what actually i am returning for from this note what i am returning i am kind of returning by saying my current value my current value minus one minus one is the number of gold coins i require plus left plus right this is what i am kind of returning to my parent so this father is asking his grandfather to require for three gold coins obviously left will be equal to minus three but still at this point how many steps he will say he will say bro um one i will keep i have to give three so number of steps will be required okay how many left left notes how many i have to give so he will say absolute of minus three because he's he can see he has required like his child has required three so he will give a minus three so again steps required will be three so what if you just see clearly three steps to reach three gold coins here and then my father automatically handled two steps to propagate to his children okay now when he has when he has when this grandfather has kept one for himself as you can see he had five gold coins he kept one minus one and then left required three so he has to he has to give minus three to downstream and then there's no right so remaining will be just a one as you can see remaining left will be current value minus one minus three for the left because i have to give so i will be remaining with the value of plus one so i will give plus one now i will give plus one now as you can see now my left is plus one i will give plus one now to my parent which is grand grandfather so now my grand grandfather will see number of steps steps required for him will be absolute of plus one because now he actually again absolute why i have taken because earlier you can see negative can be also there but either it is give or take here it was a give here it was a require so it can be negative but steps will always be positive but negative was required because i want to propagate the amount of gold upstream or downstream so that's the reason negative sign was actually required here so again ultimately in the end he will have one gold which means one step one step will be taken and that is one added in the steps itself and that is how i actually like i actually monitored my require and also calculated my steps at each at each level cool let's say the code it's pretty simple exactly same as what we saw that firstly we'll simply ask for a dfs from root we know that while coming up we have to compute these steps so i will simply ask again this is a simple base case if root is null simply return a zero and why my return type is int because i know that i have to return this amount this require or give amount i have to return this amount amount is integer so i have to make sure i am returning an integer so it's a reason i have int int in the return type and i know my my operations are performed while returning back that's the reason i have my this operation this operation post my recursive call post my recursive call pool now i'll simply go and ask for left i'll go and ask for right this will say this is my left required this is my right required what what i will do currently i know that 
how much left is required how much right is required if you remembered how much left is required how much right is required i have to add those because i know as soon as i will receive the gold as soon as the node as soon as this node will receive the gold he knows he will have the exact code and he have to propagate these much required left and right to his left and right so these are the steps which will be involved but taking the absolute because we have easily seen that this can be a positive or a negative value considering the things are required or being given here it was given so positive here it was required so negative okay cool now when the steps are added i will simply ultimately return return what for sure i will keep one gold and then i will propagate the request of my children left required and right required the same way my father did the same way my father did what what, what my father did he made his request okay i require one and minus two minus one minus one minus two is required by my children so i'll propagate this request to my grandfather and ask for three coins so that is the reason i have to have to keep the sign here why again again why sign because i have to make sure where it is gone yeah i have to make sure when the grandfather he kept one coin because he had five coins he kept one coin and he have given three coins already which means minus three he had done so he will return a plus one to his parent by saying that papa grandfather grandfather he is saying to grand grandfather papa i'm giving you one coin so for him ideally he has zero coin he will keep he will keep one coin which is minus one but from left he has received one coin and thus zero so this will become a zero right that's a reason root will return a zero to ultimately in the very end that is the reason i have to keep as it is and ultimately that's the answer again the beauty of this problem is lying to un like it it lies to understand why there is absolute and why there is not time and space for sure it's a simple dfs it's, it will be o of n time and o of, o of n space because a simple dfs it can go squee like it can be very squeeze or skew yeah that's the reason uh, it will be o of n space for recursive, rec recursive depth cool i hope you guys got it if yes then please just smash like button and please do share with your friends uh, because we need help from you love from you and bye, -bye take care do make sure to join the discord bye bye take care Discord channel link down below in description. Bye-bye.